Get this, new satellite images appear to show a major expansion of China's missile program, detecting hundreds of new suspected nuclear missile silos under construction in a desert in western China. It follows the discovery of yet another Chinese missile field back in June. Let's bring in Fox News a senior strategic analyst, retired four-star General Jack Keane. General, uh, does this concern you? Well, certainly, uh, China has conducted the most rapid conventional advance in military capability in recent history. It's probably not too surprising that they're beginning to build up their nuclear arsenal as well. They have modernized nuclear weapons. Public sources say about 350 nuclear warheads. We're restricted to about 1,600 or so uh, by the START Treaty, United States and Russia. But ours have atrophied through the years, and there's money in the budget uh, this year and as it was last year to modernize those, and that has to be done. Now, these 250 uh, silos, and that's all they are, uh, for ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles, we don't know if they're going to put actually put 250 in there or whether they're just going to keep some of them for the missiles and some of them as a means of deception so that if we had to deal with China, we'd have to target all of it. But I, I'm convinced that President Xi has moved away from the old strategy of minimum deterrence and has gone to, to a strategy of at least having parity with the United States or maybe actually going beyond that, because that is what he has done with all of his conventional military expansion and his intimidation and his coercion of our allies in the region. Right. And, of course, that's why President Trump wanted them involved in nuclear talks and the New START agreement. But uh, they didn't get involved, and President Biden just renewed it with Russia. So it ends up a, a two-pronged deal. And, of course, uh, real quick on this, they know that we have satellite images, satellites there. They know this is the middle of a desert. Do you think they care that we know these silos are there, or do you think they like it? Oh, I think they want us to know. They want the world to know. Uh, what China has been sending messages out to the world, that they are a powerful, very competent, very efficient organization, the Chinese Communist Party, that their state version of capitalism will eventually dominate uh, democratic capitalism in the United States and the Western powers. Yes. So they, they certainly right. want everybody to know. Uh, what's taking place here. Something I know you like. Uh, the Biden administration is proposing giving Taiwan $750 million or selling Taiwan $750 million in arms. Uh, the move likely will anger China, no question. In fact, the Chinese foreign ministry reacted to the proposed sale, saying, quote, China urges the U.S. to side to honor its commitment, earnestly abide by the one China principle, stop arms sales to and military actions with Taiwan, and immediately revoke the relevant arms sales to Taiwan, lest it should cause more damages to China-U.S. relations, peace and stability across the Taiwan, Taiwan Strait. Should we back off? No, no, absolutely not. The 1979 Taiwan Relations Act, that is the act when we officially moved away from diplomatically recognizing Taiwan as the Republic of China and recognized mainland China. This was done by President Carter. But in that act, it required and obligated the United States to assist with Taiwan's arms so it can defend itself. And our presidents have, by and large, abided by that. President Obama is somewhere in the neighborhood of $14 billion in arms sales over eight years. Trump did about the same in four years. And so it's good news to see the Biden administration stepping up here. Taiwan does not have the military capacity to defeat mainland China, to be sure. But what they're trying to do is impose cost on China, that it's just too challenging militarily to do this in front of the world stage and do it over a period of weeks as opposed to days, because there is enough capability there. And that would bring in our allies Taiwan's allies and partners also to defend them. That, that is the theory of this, and that is why those arms sales are very important. Sending a message to mainland China, right. hands off, don't conduct an attack here, the cost is going to be too great. And General, real quick, they don't want to fight. They want to beat up billionaires and arrest college kids and take Hong Kong. They don't really want to fight. They haven't had a real fight since 1979. They didn't do too well against Vietnam when they tried to teach them a lesson. Real quick on this. Do you think Japan should get more offensive weapons and start being more of a military force in the region? Yeah, ab absolutely. And they want to do it. The prime minister wants to do it. The defense minister wants to do it. They have been very vocal about this. They are very concerned about mainland China's acquisition of Taiwan. They believe that that would put Japan at war 
yep. uh, with China over, over Taiwan. All the other allies in the region pretty much uh, feel the same way. I personally believe that we should walk away from the Taiwan Relations Act, which said that we don't declare that we would defend Taiwan. The reason for that act was to maintain the status quo, and China hasn't maintained the status quo. They've been intimidating, coercion, right. and undermining Taiwan for years. And as a result of that, I think we should unambiguously say mm -hmm. the United States will defend Taiwan. Let's right. get that off the table and, t and China having any doubt whatsoever about it. We Got want it. deterrence here. That's what we need. General Jack Keane, thanks so much. Appreciate it.